And that's the last question. So, um, as far as my little knowledge of history and old one also goes particularly of Islamic history, I don't remember of any war that was fought uh, during the period of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that can be called an offensive war. Now my question is what religious justification we give to the wars that were fought Islam, particularly during the period of Khalifa Rashtin. <coughs> the countries conquered and they were ruled. What religious justification? Besides the politics, the fact is that if you first of all believe that there is no war permissible except a religious war, then this question is valid. But if this not your belief, and wars other than religious are also permissible in certain situations, then this question as such is not valid. Until you prove that not only on the religious ground, but on political grounds as well, that and that war fought by or waged by a certain caliph or wrong. So in that case, it is not just a generalization. It should require an answer. You have to be particular about a certain war and tell me that that war had neither a justification from a religious point of view, that is to say it was not a holy war, nor it had a justification from other um, exigencies of the situation. <coughs> because uh, the wars which are fought today, it is just possible that both uh, the participants are wrong, part is and part is the other one. It is also possible that one is wrong and the other is the one who is uh, wrong. Too. And uh, it is also possible that uh, there is no fault of anybody. Both are doing it in good faith, with good intention, only they are mistaken. All these possibilities are there. Yet, neither of the three possibilities belongs to a religious uh, field. <coughs> religious wars or holy wars are a different phenomenon altogether. But once the empire came into being, when the state came into existence, a state in the name of Islam, but it was not Islam, it was a Muslim state. So whatever happened after that, it might have pertained to the region of state that. And that uh, war will be judged by the customs and traditions of that age, not by the concept of state prayer as you hold today, nor by the practices of today, but practices of those days. If those practices and traditions and the international relationships warrants a war for reasons other than religious, then there can't be any censure. But even if in that context, that war is not warranted, then you can censure that carry for right. You have to be right and everybody can be right. Why should we go on defending anybody uh, why the Holy, Holy Quran does not uh, um, in any way try to defend the cause of that person? So that is what I want to tell you. It always go in, instead of the rarely go to the particular situation. Ask the person who thinks a war was a wrong war, it had no justification. Tell him that took care, first of all, tell me justification, justification for what part of it? How can you call it a holy war? It was not a holy war. According to the Holy Quran, the verse mentioned in Surah Hajj, the conditions of holy war do not apply. But is there no war apart from holy war? Most of the wars are not holy wars. They are wars of compulsion, of human situation. So why can't caliphs fight wars under that head for those compulsions, which are just secular compulsions? Because they were not just holding a religious office, but they were holding the office of the state, the, I mean the custodians of the state. Now that is all.